Want to install Unity? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing you'll need to do is go to Unity's website at unity.com. You should see a page that looks somewhat like this, but Unity does change its website once in a while. Pretty much you just want to find the download button. You could just go ahead and click on this, but I'm going to go and show you the plans and pricing first. Most users should be able to download the personal version for free. You would need to be making over 200,000 in annual revenue or funding to be required to pay for Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and click on download now. Since I'm working in Windows, it's prompting me download for Windows. This is the same page it would take me to if I clicked on the download button on the front page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Once it's done downloading, it will have the Unity Hub set up. I'm going to go ahead and click on that to run it. I need to read and agree to the terms of service. I can then choose the install location and click install. At this point, Unity Hub is set up. I do want Unity Hub to be run and then I'll click finish. Once Unity Hub is launched, it's going to ask you to sign in or create an account. If you haven't used Unity before, you can click on create an account and it'll bring you to a screen where you can either enter your email to continue, you could create an account, or you can sign in through a Google login, for instance. I'm going to do that. It will then bring up your account settings that you can edit if necessary. Once that's done, I'm going to close this and sign into Unity Hub. It will then ask me if I would like to open Unity Hub, which I do. So at this point, it's telling me I need a license to use Unity. Like I mentioned before, if you want to be a personal user, you can just say agree. This is not something you need to pay for, but you do need to agree to the license. Unity is now suggesting that I install the most recent version, which at this point is version 6.1. It'll be likely higher by the time you see this video. However, I'm going to suggest that you say skip installation and do one additional step so that it can also install Visual Studio at the same time. So I'm clicking on skip installation. So I should see the installs tab and what I want to do now is click on install editor and I can choose the version I would like. I could still do version 6.1 or in my case, I'd like to do version 6 because it has long-term support. There are other versions that are suggested, and there is an entire archive that has all the other versions of Unity that have been out there. I have another video that shows how to install those other versions. I'll put the link in my upper right corner if you'd like to see how to do that. But in this example, I'm going to install Unity 6. So I click on Install, and then it gives me options of things that I can install. Since I want to do code editing, I want Microsoft Visual Studio Community. So I want that checked. I can also choose what build support I want. And since I'm working on a Windows machine, I want to have the Windows build support checked. But you can check other things too. These are all things you can install later as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And there are more license terms to read. I'm going to say I've read them and install. So if I click up here and I open this little tab, I can see the status of the download. It takes quite a while to have everything installed and downloaded. So I will forward the video to where it is done. So you don't have to watch the whole thing. I had my recording paused and what you didn't see is I had to agree to allow Unity to make changes to my machine. So if that pops up, don't be alarmed. So at this point, Visual Studio popped up an installer window while other things are going on still. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And Visual Studio is asking pretty much what am I going to be developing? So what I want to do is scroll down and there is a game development with Unity box. And I want to check that. And that will add a few things that we need. So I want the IntelliCode, these other things. And if Unity Hub is checked, 
uncheck it because we already have that installed, but it looks like it already knows that. So then I'm going to go ahead and click install. And same thing here. This will take a little while. I'll skip ahead to when the install is done. So it's trying to sign me into Visual Studio. And right now I'm going to um, skip the GitHub Copilot. I'll say maybe later. I don't know if you're going to get that prompt or not. And I had it launch automatically, but we actually don't need this right now. So I am going to close Visual Studio. I just wanted it to be installed. And in the background, it looks like it finished the install of the other things. So we've got the editor application, the build support, and Visual Studio community. So that's great. Now, if you notice under installs, it has the version of Unity that I have right here. Now, like I mentioned, if you'd like additional versions of Unity installed, you can click Install Editor and locate the versions you want. I will put the link to the video on how to find a specific version of Unity in the upper right corner if you'd like to check that out. So at this point, I can start using Unity. So I'm going to click over on Projects. And I've worked with things before, so you won't have projects listed here yet. But what you're going to do is click on New Project. So at this point, you can choose the editor version you'd like to use and the template. I'm just going to go ahead and use Universal 2D for this example. Over here, the Unity organization is something that's set in your Unity account profile. So if you want to, you can change this. Otherwise, this is the default one that was given to me. I want to name my project something that I would remember. I'll just call that install demo project. And I want to save it in a place I know where to find it. In my case, I have a Unity Projects folder on my D drive. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create Project. This also takes a while to start up Unity, so I'll jump ahead to when it's done opening. So here we are in Unity, and it's all opened up. I do want to point out that this version of Unity at this point seems to have a bug that Unity is aware of, and I've seen this on many discussion boards, where there is a little alert at the bottom saying it cannot create a certain resource when you make a new file here. So at this point, you can just disregard that. Hopefully, Unity will take care of that bug. Other than that, Unity's ready to go, and you could start creating things. If you need some help on how to get started, check out my channel. And also, this Hello World program that I popped up would be a great place to start.